is David with AppShatter.com. Today I'm here with Tap Invaders. Tap Invaders is a game that uh, takes a little bit of a different twist on some of the uh, music games of today. Uh, basically instead of just tapping uh, on uh, little icons as they hit a bar, uh, you tap to destroy ships. Uh, you'll see as I kind of play it here in a second. Uh, as you open the app, you've got this menu, uh, nothing flashy, not a whole lot here, uh, but uh, simple and to the point. Uh, down here under options, uh, it gives you the ability to set music and sound effects volume independently. And it also offers some help on kind of some basics on uh, what things are and such. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump in. I'll play an easy level. There's three different songs that are included with the game, so just select one, uh, and just like that you're started. As you can see, the ships come, and the object is to destroy the ships, but as you can see, the ships kind of come in rhythm with uh, the song. I must say that um, while it is kind of a creative concept, I did uh, tend to get a little bit frustrated uh, because of the different rhythms uh, of the projectiles that you fire. As you can see, the ones in the middle get there pretty quickly so that you can shoot almost right on time, but the ones on the sides are not that way there's quite a bit of delay with them so but after a while you'll kinda get the hang of it a little bit and uh... You just have to kind of anticipate those ones on the side a little more. It adds kind of a different twist to it. It's not totally just tapping right on rhythm. You've got to pay attention to them coming and try and get the actual projectiles to hit the targets in rhythm. Not only does the game keep track of uh, points, but it also tracks your accuracy as you play. And so, if you just keep firing randomly at full speed, uh, you won't get near as good a score as if you can just be accurate and shoot only how many times you need. So that's the basics as you can see at the end it shows your score and what your accuracy was as well as the song and difficulty up at the top there. Uh, you can play again that same level or you can head back to the menu. As you can see there's three different difficulties. Uh, there's quite a bit difference in uh, the difficulty level of the difficulties. So while easy uh, pretty much anybody can just kind of pick it up and play, hard is quite difficult. Uh, the the thing with this game though is that you can't fa actually fail songs and so even if you want to try to play it on hard but you're not very good at it it's possible you just have a lot more notes So we get the idea, if you touch the top up there uh, while you're playing, it brings up the ability to, it pauses it and brings up the ability to either resume your game or end game, just like that. Uh, the final thing kind of here in the menu, you can keep track of all your scores. Now, this is done through OpenFaint. The first time you open the game, you want to log into your OpenFaint account if you have one, or create one. OpenFaint is just a social network that's going to allow you to 
have uh, global leaderboards and uh, all kinds of different fun stuff as well as uh, uh, keep track of your other friends with iPhones and iPod touches. So that's that's basically it for this game Tap Invaders. It's available right now in the iTunes App Store for 99 cents. Uh, for 99 cents, I'd say that I'd go ahead and pick this game up, uh, especially if you're a fan of music games. Um, I'm sure that the developer will probably be adding uh, more content to just the three songs. But even at that, for 99 cents, this game definitely offers uh, enough in terms of uh, playability that it's uh, worth it, I think. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave those in uh, the comment section of the video or on uh, the full review at appshutter.com. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this review. Have a great day.